So uh, my name is Jeff Howe. Uh, I'm a journalism professor at Northeastern University uh, and uh, I, a visiting scholar at the MIT Media Lab uh, and I coined the term crowdsourcing in a Wired article in 2006. Uh, working on a book right now with uh, uh, co-authored by Joey Ito. He's the head of MIT Media Lab, uh, and it's called The Principles, and uh, it's, it's, it's a compass for a world without maps, is what we're thinking of it. And the, and the idea is that uh, disruption is no longer a possibility, uh, but disruption is a certainty, and change is a certainty, and that the pace of change is following something like Moore's Law, uh, where, where we're no longer looking at uh, change as an interregnum, as something between periods of stability. So you know, you'll no longer have, say, uh, the industrial age followed by a period of change and then the information age, but rather uh, the new age will be changed. That will be the nature of the age, is just perpetual change. Uh, and that that, that fact should cause a, a massive realignment where, where we adapt our institutions uh, for an age like that. And so the principles are nine ideas that we, we came up with and then vetted past some of the smartest people we knew, which MIT being you know, MIT was a lot of smart people, um, and, and that we think institutions, be that a nonprofit or uh, a, 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 an, a, you know, a, a university uh, or a government agency or a business, could use to adapt for the 21st century, or the 22nd, for that matter. One of the central, one of the principles is learning over education, uh, and the idea that education is something that's done to you. Uh, learning is something that you do for yourself. Um, and that, that you know, education was a perfectly fine thing to have in 1955 or maybe even 1995. Um, but what you want in an employee, or if you know, perhaps you are the employee, what you want to have uh, in the 21st century is you want to be a learner. Um, and in fact, increasingly, the jobs that will be available will expect you to be a learner. Not to have been educated, but to be someone who educates himself or herself uh, rapidly, quickly, with enthusiasm, with passion. Uh, and it's our premise in the book that we have to actually start this process very young. Um, that rather than raising a generation of kids who think, as, as I think a lot of uh, you know, adults do right now, that they have uh, read-only privileges. That, you know, here's this iPad and I can buy this thing, but I have no access to the black box. Uh, you know, or a film is something that's made by other people. Uh, that we have to raise a, 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 a citizenry that, that believes they're contributors that believes that they're makers, that believes that they are citizen scientists. Everyone should be a scientist. Every, every high school kid should be a citizen scientist. There's no reason whatsoever that you should ever teach a high school class in which kids aren't contributing to real life science projects. There's so much opportunity out there right now to gather data and information, whether that's for a, an astronomy project or a meteorological project or an ornithological project. Um, or uh, you know, environmental sensing. There's so many awesome projects right now. Why would you teach a scientific discipline without using that? And thus you would show your kids, look, you're doing science right now. This isn't science class, this is science action. We're taking science action. It shouldn't even be called classes anymore. Um, so it's a little radical, but uh, we, uh, you know, I, I, think, I think we're right. I do, I think we're right. <laughs>